Mangrove to this center in winter. I will be a while. All right, well, well, thanks for having me. Um, I appreciate being on here. I've seen um, a lot of your other episodes, and so I'm honored that you're having me on. <laughs> So how are you doing this new year? Um, it's been a good, it's been a good school year. Um, we've, uh, we've been really busy. Our, our department is growing. Um, um, we've had some, some really good events. Um, I've, I've, uh, had the pleasure of being the, the student advisor for the uh, student disability union that you um, are the president for, and so I know you um, you've put together some good informational meetings and um, some some really good things. So it's it's been a good year. My name is Um person I used to with a disability. So it's, I've had a good experience um, working at UCR um, as a person with a disability. You know, when I first started working here, um, the, uh, they really made sure that I had uh, you know, everything I needed, the, um, the right assistive technology, um, the right, um, I use a, a program on my computer called Dragon Naturally Speaking that that um, converts my my voice to text. I also have a um, an adaptive mouse that I use, and so it's been it's been really great. I um, I have nothing but good things to say about uh, about my time here at UCR. What would you say the job market? Well, so that's um, that's you know there 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 is a market out there, but you know I just I just heard a statistic that there's about there's about two million people um, in California with with disabilities, and among that only about thirty percent of those people are are employed so that's you know that's lower than the than the um, regular population so you know the the job market it, and it just kind of depends you know uh, individuals with disabilities who have a college degree um, that per the percentage of um, employment uh, in that population goes up so you know, just the fact that you're graduating this year you know, with that college degree just means you're you're ahead of um, you know ahead of the game in a sense. But um, you know there are um, a lot of incentives for for companies to hire uh, individuals with with disabilities. In fact, I know that that when it comes to the federal government, they're actively seeking and and recruiting uh, individuals with disabilities, and they actually get preferential hiring. Um, so, you know, the while the while the job market is, you know, it's it's not the best. It's it's better than it has been, and there are definitely some um, some possibilities out there. What does SDU stand for? So SDU, um, that's our student organization here at UCR, and it stands for the Student Disability Union. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's an organization where um, students with disabilities and students without disabilities can, um, you know, get together and raise awareness of, of disability issues and, you know, and kind of... Uh, join together and become uh, part of the UCR community. Mm -hmm. Would you say that about sums it up? I uh, did. Yeah. Okay. So, 
What are some of the effects you have? Okay, well, we had um, several events uh, this year. I know that there was um, several workshops that you had arranged at the at the beginning of the year. We had a representative from the Disability Rights Center at Loyola Law School came and gave a workshop. Um, we also had our uh, our ability ball, which is um, kind of a talent show where we ask different different student organizations, and different groups around uh, UCR to have them come perform. So we had some really good uh, singers, uh, really good um, students who played um, different music, and and at the same time we we put it on to raise disability awareness so in between the performers we did what was called what called facts between acts and that um, was with our the SDU leadership would would read um, facts about disability and so just so uh, you know to help everybody who's there just become more aware of things mm -hmm. um, we also just had our um, third annual um, our Ability Awards, where we recognize um, uh, our students uh, with disabilities who are graduating, and we also um, do outstanding um, ally awards for different departments who have worked uh, with us um, and, and gone above and beyond, and then we also do a couple excellence in leadership awards that um, you know, for for students involved in the organization, organization who who have done really well this year, and actually, um, we had just presented you, Sanjay, with a with an excellence in leadership award. So, Sanjay, you have have any good movies that feature disabilities? Yeah, you know, there's a there's a lot, and there's even been more in in recent years. But uh, one that I can, a couple that I can think of are um, there's a movie called My Left Foot, and it stars Daniel Day Lewis, and it's a true story about a man um, in in Ireland who was born with cerebral palsy, and the only um, part of his body that can that he can move is is his left foot, um, but um, d in despite of that, he he's able to get around. He's able to um, overcome a lot of um, his adversity, and um, so it's a, that's a really good and, that, and that's a really inspiring uh, movie. Um, the, another one that I could think of is called. Mary and Mary and Max, and that's a it's a stop motion animation movie, and it's about uh, it's about a um, an autistic uh, older man who lives in New York City, and he becomes pen pals with a with a with a girl in Australia, and so it's about the the um, their dynamic and. Um, kind of um, the the man with autism uh, kind of c comes out of his shell a little bit and they develop a, a unique friendship so those are those are two that I that I really enjoyed um, how about you any uh, mo any movies that you would recommend I would recommend a new TV show the speechless. All right. It's about this guy with super powers. Okay. And they're pretty funny. Oh yeah. And yeah, I've seen the I've seen the commercials for it, but but yeah, I'll I'll check it out, especially if you recommend it. Mm -hmm. What do you have in the final words? Before we have to go. Sure. Um, once again, I just uh, like to thank you for having me. 
um, and uh, I appreciate yeah, being on the being on the show and um, you've done uh, great things while you're while you're here at UCR and I um, I just want to congratulate you on um, graduating and I think you have got great things in store for you uh, in the future so um, thank you very much so thank you for being my match. I think we have it. Alright. <laughs> 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 <laughs>